Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sayum Bura and uh, this is the unboxing of um, this uh, artist model called Bodykun from SH Figure Arts, which is a little model uh, aimed to help you draw. So basically you can take it, it's like a little action figure and you can pose it. So um, you can check my other video which showed the unboxing of Body Chun, which is the female version of this model. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at Body Kun, which is the male version. So looking at it, this is the packaging. Here is the back of it. So it's all in Japanese. So the idea is you take the model, you pose it the way you want, you take a picture and then you copy that picture and then you draw whatever you like on it. So here's a few example cases. So this is supposed to be in the packaging and this is a few example poses. So let's open it up. So let's see, there's a little... All right, let's open it up. All right, so here is the body with the accessories. And we also have uh, a background and some, some uh, guidelines. So this is a little manual on how to actually use this figure. So uh, here's an explanation of that you have a little support thing and a few example poses and it shows how everything turns around. Here it shows how you can post something, take a picture, then how uh, the movements are of certain limbs. And then this is an example. So this would be an example of the pose of the two images. Uh, you could sketch it out and then use that sketch to build your own story. Uh, from a sketch, ink it, go into the details, and then here uh, it shows the line art right here. Um, let's see, step two, and then step three is over here, flat coloring basically, and then changing it in Photoshop, and adding shades, adding details, and then I guess that is the final image. This shows an inventory of what's available, so you have the grey figure, which is the one that I bought, you have a pale orange version or a nude uh, color one, uh, male and female which is the one I did not purchase because I wanted all the accessories to go with it, basically. All right, so that's that. Then we have this, which is a little manual of all the detailed stuff that's included, so all of the hand shapes. It shows here uh, exactly if um, how the limbs move, if it is attachable, removable, or movable. Uh, and here is, let's see, yeah, this is blank. And then here it shows the exact uh, accessories that are included, including a stand to make your figure stand up. So, uh, let's unwrap it. Yes. All right, so, um, let's see. So, here at the bottom there is... This is plastic, this is taped down. So these are the accessories. So we have the keyboard, a gun, a cell phone, uh, the screen of the keyboard, oh no, sorry, a tablet, the screen of the keyboard, a pen, and then an iPhone type phone. We have the, uh, the placeholder, so you can, which you can use to keep the figure in place if you pose it weirdly. And right here, Up. And here we then have the figure itself. So just like with the girl, this one is about uh, one hand, hand length uh, size, so it's about the size of my hand. Um, and its materials are quite nice, so the plastic is very solid, the joints move very nicely, but they resist a little bit if you move it in the wrong direction. So, you can just see, you can even move like the toes, like this. So, there you go. So you'd have someone just, ooh, like Superman, 
going out for whatever rescue it is. Pew, pew, pew. So the idea of this is that um, you post this in um, in any type of um, posture that you, or, or pose that you'd like to draw, and if you take a picture of it, and you have like an easy frame of reference, basically, to uh, to draw your figure in case you cannot find a, a solid reference picture or um, in case you have some trouble thinking up what you'd like to draw. So uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. So yeah. So this is the bottom. This is the this is the support that you can use to place into this accessory box. So it can will remain in place. And this is the part that holds um, holds the figure in place. So sort of groin holder, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure yet what this exactly is. Maybe it's like no, I haven't figured this one out yet. So it's like looks like a little key. So let's take care of the accessories now. All right. So, so right here we have a laptop screen. We have a gun. We have an iPad right here. We have a laptop case. And I have a phone. Just take some time to get out of this hard plastic thing. Hmm. Well, let's try this one. We have an iPhone phone here. We have a pen or a stylus or a wand or something else um, yeah so there's the phone and we have this super mega cool katana all right so that's cool then here we have this box which come which uh, you can use to keep your accessories safe so this is like a little accessory holder, a little plastic lid to keep it safe. And as you can see right here, we have the hands. Just put this aside. You have the hands. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of them, a left hand and a right hand. So this is what it looks like close up. So different type of hands. And then we have this one, also different type of hands. So, as you can see in the accessory box, um, if you put it in here and then in here, you have room to store your accessories and keep them safe. Just like that. So, the figure itself, um, it's, it's much smaller than I expected. That's the first place. Um, the plastic seems solid and the joints are kept together quite solidly, at least in this case. So let's see if we can... Oh, the torso doesn't move that much, which is annoying. But... This could be a pose. And if we use the pose holder, we can put him right in here. No, you can just pose it however you like, basically. So, let's see if we can copy one of these poses, like the one in the front. So. Um, let's see. Mm, so already you can tell this neck is a bit thinner than this one, but sure. Let's say it's like this. And this one is more like a casual hand drop. So this hand would have to be a hand that is, let's see, I think it's this one right here. So let me take this out. So it's it's um, 
stuck quite solidly in this little pin right here, which goes into into here. And then if I take off this hand, I have to use a lot of force actually because it, because it's stuck quite. Oh, there you go. See, it's the same type of joints. So I can just push this in very gently. All right, that's quite. It's not as easy as it looks like. It's done quite tightly, but that's good because you don't want your hands dropping off in the middle of a pose, basically. So this is. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I heard it. I felt it. Um, oh, felt it snap close. All right. So let's just see. Don't want to accidentally. All right. All right. So. Okay, how does this work? So, I don't want to accidentally break his arm or something. Alright, so I could, oh, as you can see, I can sh you can shift all parts of the arm. And I think this is... Hmm. This is, okay, so it takes a little bit of finesse to pose this properly, but I think, I guess that's good. Um, like this, yeah. I think, I think this is a little bit like this. And then you see how he sort of. I guess we can like give him a feel. So I guess if you took a picture in a certain 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 perspective, then it would match this. It does seem that here in the picture his waist is a little bit taller than this one and it seems a bit more bendy because this, it does bend, you see, it does bend, but not as close, not as much as would require here. Uh, oh, I'll actually do it like this, much easier. So, what does it look like? Hmm. No, no, how about we try this one, one more, just to see how it holds up. All right, so let's start with the body. So the leg, like this, and then you have him going like this. And then, I don't wanna change the hand right now, but I think it's about this, and then it's about like this, and then you have, yeah, I guess that's similar, yeah. Yeah, I think it is somewhat similar, so. That is quite interesting. So, I think that looks nice. I am going to have a lot of fun posing him, I'm certain of it. Him and her. So let's get Body Chan in here. So, we have Body Kun, which is this one. And we have Body Chan, which is this one. So I opened her up yesterday. We or I opened her up in my other video and we had a lot of fun playing with her. So here she is. So this is how these two compare. So they're the same model. They're both the light grey uh, figure. And they're both approximately, well, about a hand size. But it's very clear that the male figure is bigger than the female figure and much more sturdy and wider, basically. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Actually. Nope, oh, oops, losing her arm. That's like a little manufacturing error I've got. Yeah, so for these type of poses, I feel like this is really, really brilliant, because um, because doing double poses is always really complicated. So this is an example of how you could pose them together, and you could take a picture like this or every other angle actually. Uh, although I would, I would prefer like this one, and. 
then you'd have some really excellent uh, references for the, to create the specific pose that you are interested in versus uh, finding a reference or a stock picture, which are sometimes really difficult to find in the exact pose that you want. So I think for that purpose, this one will do really well. Um, oh, 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 crap. Sorry. So what I think I'll be doing is I'll be taking a few pictures and I'll be drawing a few example pictures and I'll upload them in a separate video or maybe attach it to this one, I don't know yet, but uh, so you can have a little bit of an idea if these figures are worth your purchase. So for me, I found a very good deal with free shipping. Uh, I found them for $40 each, which is, uh, in my opinion, quite cheap considering I saw them for like $80 all over the place and I had to pay an import fee. Um, Either way, I will let you know. So, thank you very much for watching. And um, uh, please subscribe or like my video if you like that. And I will leave all the info for these figures in the description box down below. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you later. So, um, to be honest, I had, expected pose, uh, I had expected that posing them would be a little bit easier than it was in the end because it turned out that a lot of hassle and a lot of stuff that moves. Uh, but I managed, so I used one of the pose holders to hold the male in place and messed around until I got the female in the place they want. So you can see it's a very cute, very warm embrace. Like she's touching him, he's touching her while his hand wouldn't stay near her face where I wanted it to be and then I wanted them to hold hands but that too was kind of difficult for them to remain in place either way this is roughly a pose I would be happy with so I think I'd like to do a picture from either this perspective which is adorable or this one so we can properly see their hands holding yeah yeah, yeah I think this will be it so again